I'm going to share with you the step-by-step -step process on how you can literally grow your small account and turn it into a big account with boom and crash indices. So we're going to start this on crash 1000 index market. All right. So I want you to pay attention on the crash market. We're going straight up to the charts right now on the crash 1000 index market. So the first thing I want you to pay attention to in this market right now is to read at the top left corner below the cell where it says on average one drop occurs in price series every 1000 ticks so if you want to grow your small account you need to understand how this market op operates okay you don't just you know enter this market with a strategy you want to understand this type of market before using be, you want to understand this type of market before placing an entry all right so now we understand that on average one drop occurs in price series every 1000 ticks all right now when you're trading this market now you are that you have understand this what you should do next is to you know set the amount of loss size you want to use to trade this market okay most beginner trader does not know what the loss size means now i'm going to explain to you what loss size actually means so the loss size means the amount you will use to make that entries and that loss size will determine how much profit and loss you will make for each trade entry so for example if you set a loss size of you know 0.2 the amount of profit you will earn for each trade entry per one candle takes is going to be 0.10 all right that's going to be the profit you are going to earn for each trade entries so for example now if you have like about $50 account and you set 0.2 loss size and you place an entry for a buy when you are buying into this market This is the buy this green candle that is counting when you place an entry for a buy one particular candle right like this will give you 0.10 cent All right, and if you got to you have got to 20 cent if you got three that's 30 four that's 40 five that's 50 cent and if you are able to get 10 successful you know candlestick successfully you will get about one dollar from this market all right so five plus five that is one one dollar which is 50 cent plus another 50 cent is equal to one dollar on the market all right so i hope you understand what i'm saying to you guys all right you want you, you want to pay attention to that and understand what i'm saying so that you'll be able to get it you know successfully so now that you understand that you know 50 plus 50 will give 50 cent plus 50 cent will give you about one dollar on the market now you are able to you know calculate each entries that you are going to be taking successfully and when you are trading this crash market you want to understand that this market is a very volatile market and the market crash okay it's a crash market meaning that there's going to be a lot of spikes on this market and this spike is the real deal so when you are into this market, what you should be avoiding at the moment as a beginner trader is to avoid the spikes. This spike will not show you when it's going to come into the market. So you, be, you need to be extremely careful when you, are played, when you are placing each trade entries. All right. So now take a look at this market. Like I said, this market crashes all the time. There's a spikes, many, many spikes. Okay. Now, we're seeing multiple spikes on this market. Look at this. This red is a spike. This green is the buy. This is sell. This is buy. You can see, if you go back to the historical trend right here, there are many multiple spikes. Now, how do you trade these markets? This is whereby you go to the one hour time frame to confirm your entries. You go over to the one hour time frame. Let's go over to the one hour time frame right now. And we are going to confirm our entry so that we'll be able to trade this market successfully. All right. Now we're taking a look at the one hour time frame right here. And we're seeing that price is at this level. I'm explaining this step by step to you guys so that you can understand with the strategy that I'm going to show with you. If you are trading the crash market with your strategy and without proper understanding how the market works, you will not be able to be you will not be able to have a successful trade on the market. You will end up keep blowing up your account and losing multiple trades all the time. So unless you are able to understand this market perfectly, that is when you combine it with a good strategy. 
and you're able to be successful on this market. Alright, now we're on the one hour time frame right here and we're looking at the market. You can see at this point in time, the market sold from here for a very long period of time. It took many hours for this market to sell. If you go to the historical trend right here, you can see that the market also sold from here to this point in time. Take a look. So this market has been a sell market. You can see a very long trend in time. So if you are in the market at this point in time, let's say you just enter into the market, the trend, the next possible trend line is going to be an upward trend. All right. So the market I've gotten to the oversold. So the next step is for it to go upwards to the overbought. All right. It's for the market to go to the overbought. So now that you have understand that this market is going upward, this does not mean that this market will go upwards right now in this point in time. Take a look. This is why I said that you need to understand how this market operates so that you'll be able to trade this market successfully. If we zoom in a little bit, you can see that this market has started creating a straight line pattern here. Let's zoom in. This market is going towards this direction before it will retest. Alright, you can see that it sold, it bought, it sold like this. It's going to sell, it will buy. It will sell, it will buy, just like that, for a short period of time before it will retest. Now, if you ask me, how do I know this? It's because I've observed this type of market many times. And I'm able to understand that this is the pattern this market follows. All right. I understand this market perfectly. Now, how do we get an, a perfect entry? This is where we zoom into the market and we see. Now, this market bought for a long time. It sold. It bought. This next step right now, this market would sell a little bit before it will buy. So we're going to go to the one hour, to the one minute time frame and confirm our entries. Now take a look. The the the, the market is at the overbought on the one minute time frame, but it is at the oversold on the one hour time frame. So you see the difference. There's a huge difference. Remember, I told you that this market would sell, right? So while 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 looking that, that this market would say right here, take a look, because this is the one minute time frame, and on the one minute time frame, the market moves quickly than the one hour time frame. All right, without even using indicators, I'm able to tell you that this market would sell from this point in time. If I zoom in clearly, you can see that there was a little sell here. This is another signal that this market would sell. There's a chance that this market would sell. You know why? Because this market have bought for a long period of time, just as it did here. It bought, it sold, it bought. So it should sell. All right. Take a look here. Here. It bought, it sold, it bought, it sold. So I think that this market would sell. Because this market have gotten to the overbought level. Alright. So now, how do you use a strategy? I believe now I believe now that I've explained that how you, you are able to calculate your lot size, that your lot size will determine the amount of profit you will make. And also that lot size will also determine the losses you will make as well. Alright. So I've showed you guys the one hour time frame, how you'll be able to see that. The market is going to sell even when it got to the one hour time frame uh, or the one minute time frame as well. So I'm going to put on the related threat index indicator. So put on the RSI. We we'll set here to period 14. You apply it to close. For the levels, you're going to impute 90 and the level of 10. This is for beginners who, have, who are not able to understand this market properly so that you'll be able to understand it. So you put on 90 for here and you put on 10 below the 90. The style, you drag this line to the ending, then you put the color to black with this line here. 
All right, you said that so that you'll be able to understand the levels when the market gets to the overbought and when it got to the oversold. So this is for crash 1000 index. Once the level the market gets to the level of 90, it's at the overbought. When you get to the level of 10, it's at the oversold. All right. Then you put on sell here for 90 buy. You can type it here as description. Both for the upwards. You click on done. For the style, you put this one at the first line, then use color white, the color of your screen. You click on done. All right. Then what you want to put on next is the MACD. Put on the MACD. Fast EMB on 14, slow EMA 24, MACD SMA on 10. You apply to close. For the style, 4 pixels for the signal, red color on 4 pixels, which is the, the, the last line at the end. You click on done. Alright, if you ask me, how do I know that this market would sell from any given point in time? If you take a look at this point right here, Trace it, you can see that from here to here are almost the same line. Alright, from this point here to here are almost the same. And when it, and at this point here, there was a spike. So we're seeing that there's a chance that the spike will still come in at this point in time. So you see, at this point, when the price gets to the level of 90, which is the overbought, you place a sell. So this is signal. You see the sell here and you place a sell. You catch the spike. When you get to the level of 10, the MACD, you place a buy. You take five candle ticks. All right. And also during the upward trends of the first MACD, you place a buy for five candle ticks when the market gets to level of 10, you place a buy. You take just five candle ticks. Because during the downtrend of the MACD, there's a lot of spike on the market. This means that during the downtrend of the MACD, the chances of the spike coming into the market is very much. So when you immediately get to the level of 10, you just take your five candle ticks from that point in time, then you exit the market because five candle ticks is the safest before the spike would come in although the spike may, might come in at that last fifth candlestick so you want to observe when there's a higher volatility on the market so that you don't enter the market at that point so that you don't end up you know in a losing trade all right i hope you understand what i'm saying to you guys now we'll go over to the boom one thousand index All right, the boom 1000 index market. Now, on that crash market, before we start this boom market, on that crash market, when you are trading the market, all right, when you are trading the crash market, that five candle ticks will give you 50 cents, which is 0 0.50. So if you successfully got in five candle ticks, successful, you get 50 cents from that market. So if you are able to multiply that, you take five, then you add another five. You are only taking this five when you see a good entry point. That good entry point means that when you see a position whereby it is good for you to enter into the market. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So you'll be doing that, you know, continuously. All right. You'll be doing that continuously, taking five after five. And by that, you will be multiplying your profits from that point in time. So now, we are using the same setup and parameters. But the only thing we are going to change here for the RXI, we are going to go to the levels and we are going to delete this description here. So that's the only parameters we are going to be using. We are going to be using the same parameters, but we are just going to remove those descriptions from that point in time. Alright, so you can see. Now, I've shown you how to grow your small account on Crash 1000 Index. So, I'm going to share with you how to do this on Boom 1000 Index as well. Using this simple analysis, for the Boom 1000 Index, 
when MACD gets to the level to this level here of the level of 90, you immediately place your cell and take five candle ticks. When you get to the level of 10, you place your buy. Because we are seeing that the market have gotten into the oversold. There's a chance that the spike will come into this market from this point in time. Because if you look at it, the market have sold for a very long period of time. So there's a chance for the spike to come in here. So you place your buy at this point to cash the spike as your profit. And if you are lucky enough, if the spike is a very long one, that will be a lot of a lot of profit from the market. As you can see, here when the level of the MACD, when the MACD got to the level of 10 of the RSI, there was a spike. Even here at this point in time, there was a spike. At the level of 10, take a look. Level of 10. At the level of 10, there was a spike. So as a beginner trader, what you want to put in your mind is that the market is a volatile market. Okay? The market is a highly volatile market. This market wants to take away your profit and it wants to spike. So you need to be extremely careful when you are trading this type of market. And remember that you need to go to the one hour time frame and confirm your entries on the one hour time frame. Now, this is the one hour time frame. We can see that the markets bought here, it sold. It bought, it have sold. The next step is for this market to buy. All right. So I believe after watching this video, you understand how to grow a small account using this strategy that I've shared with you. If you found value, do it to like and subscribe to the channel, the daily forex for more awesome pretty tips and strategies. I'll see you guys on the next video.